definitely. Kelly, take it away. Goodness, we are. What's your trick? <laughs> yeah, the forecast. Uh, it is going to be a rainy afternoon today, too. Uh, I'm looking at the forecast right now for this morning, and it does look like most of the heavy showers uh, that were supposed to move in early this morning might be on their way out the door. So, again, we are starting out with a wet morning here. We saw those early morning showers, roadways again glistening with the rain. So take it easy out there. It's been a while, about two weeks since we've seen uh, any type of heavy rainfall in the area. So uh, again, the roads might be a little more slick and we are still seeing some raindrops up in areas of Vancouver right now. But Portland on the drier side of things as we head into this hour uh, here in Portland. There's a peek at the radar. Just want to share uh, some of the unsettled weather we're still seeing in other parts of the state. Again, Eastern Oregon, lightning strikes right across the Wallawas and the Blues. And uh, that again is a fire threat. Hopefully no new fires are started by any of those lightning strikes and storms that are moving across this area at the moment. And we are seeing some lightning strikes down near Eugene and further down the Willamette Valley as we set up our morning here just uh, north of Eugene. Some heavy downpours on the I-5 corridor. Look at the coast too. We are seeing another batch of showers cruising right into the Tillamook Seaside Astoria area. So there will be some wet weather out there soon. But notice the dry stretch right now from out Salem to Portland. So we're in a drier patch of weather at this point in our morning. So if you're out driving now, I think you'll likely be okay. Again, roadways are so wet from these lighter showers that are sprinkling on by and we're mainly seeing those up in areas of Clark County there in southwest Washington, also in the hills of Washington County. But Hobby 26, not too bad in terms of heavy rainfall. Same for the I-5 corridor and I-205. So your drive this morning, again, okay. Just be extra careful because those roadways are wet when we have been stuck in this dry pattern and we're all used to driving on dry roadways. Uh, so again, as we head away into our morning, this heavy band of showers likely out the door for the morning time here. We could still see some of these uh, heavier downpours and thunderstorms in the foothills of the Cascades, but I do think Portland might remain on the drier side for the next several hours into our morning now. Uh, so again, take it easy out there as we hit the afternoon. We'll still see these bands of rain showers swirling into the region here and uh, pushing into the valley. I do think the target of some of the heavier showers might be south of Salem down to Eugene and maybe out of Portland. So just carry the rain jacket. Be prepared for a heavy shower, but we might keep lighter showers in the mix today as we hit the afternoon. There it is. As we get to 3, 4 o'clock, you can see those uh, lighter showers still sprinkled out there and scattered about Portland down the valley. Uh, we'll again keep a chance for rain showers going into Thursday too. The system is still working through the region, so some lingering rain possible heading into tomorrow morning and then throughout the afternoon. I do think we'll get some sun breaks heading into tomorrow, uh, but the system does dry us out and we are back to uh, much nicer conditions and more sunshine as we work our way into uh, Friday and beyond. Rainfall totals maybe another quarter of an inch with uh, the rest of the rain today and Thursday. Also, we still have that chance for a pop-up thunderstorm possible in Portland. So there is a slim chance we could still get a heavy downpour here right in the metro area. So be ready for the rain. We'll track those thunderstorms into the afternoon, but uh, likely on the drier side of things as we head into our morning. Highs today also in the upper 60s, a cooler day. Then we'll sit in the 70s as we head towards the weekend here in Portland. Thanks, Kelly. We got a breaking.